Hi Church and welcome back to um, day two of this week's devotions, uh, which is the Barmy Bible story of um, Ehud. My name is Leila, I'm part of the pastoral team and yesterday we looked at Judges 3 from verse 12, um, the story of Ehud. So if you haven't um, already read the story before, then do um, pause or go back and read that. And today we're going to be looking at a group of people in this story, and they are the Israelites. And um, the Israelites are, um, as we know, they are a, um, a mighty nation who God has, um, you know, rose up, who God has blessed. God has mightily brought them out of Egypt. Um, they've had a somewhat um, delayed time in the wilderness, and now they are in the promised land and as we watch the children of Israel's journey out of Israel and th and to get to the promised land we see them in this perpetual cycle um this perpetual cycle um of um walking away from God um getting into idolatry sexual immorality just um complete disobedience to God then God kind of lets them get on with their evil ways. They they get oppressed by an enemy. And then one day they wake up and realise how bad their life is um, and how far they've wandered from God. And they call out to God and then God sends or God delivers them. And we see that Ehud, uh, this exact scenario, this is a snapshot of this exact scenario again. Um, and, even, you know, the verse, the, the story starts off with telling us that the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. So, and the Lord raised up Ehud. Um, so what um, we can do as believers is look at the children of Israel and um, and learn from their journey. Learn from the good, um, but also learn from the bad. Um, in that we do not want to be a people who go round and round in circles with God. We do not want to be a people who end up spending a extended time in the wilderness. Um, but we can be a people who fix our eyes on God. We can be a people who um, are led by the Holy Spirit. Um, and we do have the, the benefit um, the, of, uh, of the Holy Spirit. Um, and... Um, so let's just be um, a people who look at their journey and think, um, although, you know, we can often recognise aspects of their journey, uh, but we are going to be wise and we are going to be um, a people um, who are obedient to God.